Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from PhoneBunch and today we are taking a look at Windows 10 technical preview for phones. So you can see right here we are running it on the Lumia 525 and the start screen itself is new. You can now see the background wallpaper instead of being laid out on tiles, it is behind them. You have your complete app list over here as well. There will be a vertical tile available for different apps as well, but that will be for larger screen sizes. Now there are several new apps available too, we'll check them out one by one. So now let's get into the notification chain and you can see you have more toggles available. So you are not just restricted to the four choices available earlier. Now getting into settings, there's another change. All settings have now been categorized. So instead of just crawling through a huge list of different settings which pretty much look the same, they are now categorized into different options. And you can see right here, we are running Windows 10 and you can see that curious pin icon over here. So now in Windows 10, you can pin individual settings to your home screen. So instead of just the entire settings menu, you can simply go ahead and pin individual settings. Now there are some changes in apps as well. You can notice the hamburger menu on to the left, a nod to Android in my opinion. And you might have pulled down to refresh in some apps available as well. So there is a different theme going on here with respect to default apps. Now these are the universal apps. This is the Outlook Mail app. These would look similar on Windows 10 for PC. So you can swipe through to delete or even set flags for your emails. Now the calendar app also has a similar menu. You can add calendars from different sources. Now this is definitely not the final design of apps. Now instead of the files app, Windows 10 has a file explorer app. Now this will be similar to Windows 10 as well. So your PC as well as your phone and tablets, Windows 10 tablets that is, will run similar apps. Now let's say you want to access the task manager when you are in landscape mode. So this time around you have a landscape task manager as well. Something Microsoft is doing to aid usability. Now this build is not void of bugs. You can see right there, instead of just the icons, the text for the icons are also shown in smaller tiles. Now this is the new phone dialer. So you can see right here, you have tabs instead of swipeable panels over here. So there is going to be a huge change in terms of overall user interface with Windows 10. Now this too looks a bit like Android. Here's the new messaging app. You can see the beta icon right up top. And this time around, you have an option to move the cursor right from within the keyboard. And it actually works pretty fine, especially when you are editing documents. Now this is the new people app. It's an alpha build of this app. So you have your what's new section available here. You can add contacts and you can see that round images would be shown in this app. So there are going to be several interface changes over here. Now getting to the alarm clock app again, it's quite reminiscent of what we find on Android, including the layout of the different tabs. It's pretty similar. So the biggest addition to Windows 10 is the Project Spartan browser. It is based on the Edge engine that Microsoft is going to use. It has the address bar up top instead of at the bottom for now. So let's open phonebunch.com and you can see that there is a space at the bottom. So in final design, we might see the address bar move to the bottom again. And actually I like that place. It's more easily accessible. So you can see right there, add to favorites. You have your option right there, add to reading list. And you have your tabs right there as well. So you can go in and add different tabs. So new interface altogether. Now scrolling is smooth over here, rendering does take a little bit of time, but again we are running this on very low end hardware, it's the Lumia 5 to 5. Now there's one more change, you have the new Maps app which integrates navigation within itself. So instead of going into an, another app to go into your navigation, you can simply go ahead, press the hamburger menu up top, select directions and choose your location. So two apps have been combined into one, a great thing for users. Well folks, that was a quick look on Windows 10 technical preview for phones. Now it's definitely not as polished, it's just an initial release. There are going to be several tests, several feedback sessions and we are going to get brand new universal apps which will run on your PCs, tablets as well as phones. We'll be keeping a lookout for all of these. Stay tuned to phonebunch.com for the latest in mobile technology. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. Thanks for watching and as always have a great day.